Republican candidate jokes about his daughters being raped, what the serious f. What in the hell is wrong with some people? Robert Regan, a Republican candidate for Michigan's House of Representatives is in some political hot water this week and rightfully so after making a disturbing quip about his daughters being raped. Regan, who goes by RJ, was on a Facebook live video with the Coalition to Rescue Michigan on Monday, discussing the elements of their party. Still trying to overturn the 2020 election instead of looking forward. Strategist Amber Harris said, That's when RJ, who recently won a special election to Michigan's District 74 House seat, made maybe the most ill conceived jokey analogy we've ever heard, saying, We're sorry. You tell your daughters what? What the actual F are you talking about? If it's just a joke, it's a horrific thing to say for a laugh, and if that's really how he parents his daughters. Then JFC what a monster Michigan 74th has to look forward to. Elections matter, people. Even in the room of like-minded political allies, the comment was met with shock. Harris called it shameful. However, Adam DeAngeli, the host of the discussion, seemed less offended and more worried about backlash from outside. He cautioned his participants should remember this was streaming on YouTube, though he mused, probably not for much longer after what Robert said. When Detroit's WKYZ reached out for comment, DeAngeli said Regan misspoke, though. He also admitted the comment was, maybe not the best analogy, but he was speaking extemporaneously. Yeah, it's forgivable since it was off the top of his head and no one is ever judged for horrific things they say without a script, right? Regan himself told the outlet. Any controversy his comment caused was just a leftist group doing what they do. He first tried re-explaining the analogy to Bridge, Michigan, saying he actually meant nothing is inevitable, so he was joking about what not to do. Because he does believe Donald Trump actually won in 2020, and he was arguing they should keep fighting for that. Got it. He added Guy. It was not the clarity or sophistication of your analogy that anyone cared about, it's the content. You immediately jumped to daughter rape, that was your choice. But Regan refused to accept any responsibility, once again blaming liberals for any offense. Right, it's just bad faith. Trolls from the left offended by the daughter rape joke. Well then, we guess there are no Republicans appalled at what he said then? Oh wait, Tory Sachs from conservative PAC the Michigan Freedom Fund came out with a statement blasting the congressman, saying sorry, his. What? Yeah, he's one of these Republicans who's really pro-Russia, too, refusing just last week to condemn Putin's attack on the Ukraine. He instead alluded to QAnon conspiracy theories. That there are secret corrupt U.S. interests in Ukraine and all Putin is doing is targeting them. Tweeting. Massive corruption, bio labs and money laundering is being taken out by Putin. WEF. Soros and Clintons are none too happy about it. His other big brain takes? The COVID thing is nonsense, and climate change is a hoax. Great. Back on the rape comment, however, Sachs continued. I teach my four young daughters to stand up for themselves, to know their worth, and to fight back and speak out against creeps like Regan. RJ Regan doesn't belong anywhere near the state capitol, and that is why we endorsed and supported his opponent. Someone else who endorses his opponent? His daughter. Yes, one of the three daughters he likes to bring up at an opportune times. Before this debacle, RJ's claim to fame was when his daughter Stephanie Regan tweeted. During his run for office in 2020, if you're in Michigan and 18 PLS for the love of God do not vote for my dad for state representative. Tell everyone. Hilarious. Well, now we have a better idea why someone might feel that way about their dad. Seriously though, this QAnon stuff is dangerous. Get. 
the man help. No joke.